Welcome to this context capture tutorial on the AutoPhoto TouchUp tool. We will review how to remove artifacts caused by moving objects in this tutorial. In summary, we will see how to use the AutoPhoto reference model to spot areas to edit, then use the AutoPhoto TouchUp tools to select a polygon to edit and change the photo source, and finally update the production to reflect the modifications. Now let's review the step-by-step -step operations. First we will review the AutoPhoto results in the reference model tab and select an area to edit and open the touch-up panel. We will draw a polygon around the area to edit, change the source image to remove the artifact and apply the modification and update the production. In Connect Capture, select a reconstruction of the type AutoPhoto DSM. Here I have done the first production of the reference model. If we go to the reference model tab, we can review the AutoPhoto, the complete AutoPhoto, and spot areas to edit. In this example, I spot a car which is partially textured on the AutoPhoto, and I want to edit it to either remove it or make it look better. I will select the area to edit and the touch-up panel opens. The idea is now to select the area for which we want to change the image contribution. For this, we can either go with a polygon drawing tool or a lasso tool. So polygon tool, like shown, will allow you to create sharp polygons, but you can also use the lasso tool for more free selections. So let's go back to the polygon tool and draw the polygon around the area we want to modify. When the polygon is complete, we can review the list of individual auto photos that can be used to texture this area. We can spot one without the car, we select it, and the image contribution for the specific area is modified, and the artifact is removed. You can use the preview button to review the edit that has just been made. When you're satisfied with your edits, you can just press apply, and you can now proceed with further modification or just saving it to apply your modification to the reference model. You can also turn on the seam lines just to check what's happening in this area and you can actually see the seam lines have been modified according to your polygon here. Back to the reference model tab we can see that the modification has been applied and you can just go back to your production and submit an update and export your final result.